Good afternoon, guys. Lini coming at you from the new sofa. Oh, yeah. I wasn't planning on recording today, but I went out and about on the high street today after the gym and I wanted to show you some of the awesome things that I picked up. First of all, I went to Holland and Mart. Now Holland and Mart in the UK is like a health food store, so you can get like all supplements and vitamins and minerals, but also you can get alternatives like almond flour, coconut flour. I also pick up dairy free chocolates. They just have loads of different things on offer. I don't go in there that often, but they usually have really good deals as in buy one, get one half price. And they also have a really good selection of protein bars so if you're on the high street and you are looking for a snack and you see a Holland and Barrett you can always pick up a protein bar while you're in there so I just thought I'd show you what I got while in Holland and Barrett number one I've already opened them and had two of them now this might look like a pack of chocolate but it's actually these probiotic chocolate balls now there's three billion live bacteria per ball you take two of them a day per chocolate ball it is 0.8 grams of fat 1.2 grams of carbs but it's all about the probiotics because that helps with a healthy digestive system and healthy gut you need the probiotics there to help digest your food and if you're suffering a lot from bloating and it can also help with your metabolism everything comes down to how you digest your food and having healthy hormone levels this is great. I just usually take two in the morning and to be honest, it tastes like chocolate. A lot of probiotics you get, you have to store them in the fridge, but these can just be stored in the cupboard as well. So it's good for traveling because you can't bring probiotics with you when you travel because they have to get refrigerated. It's not number one tip of the day. For baking, I don't really use regular flour. I think it's because of the high carb content more than anything else. So I tend to use almond flour and I use the Sulcrin uh, reduced fat almond flour. I usually get that from muscle food, but I wasn't able to get it this time and I'm almost out. So I decided to pick up some of this coconut flour I've used before. Now it is different from using regular flour. So you will have to reduce the amounts because it's kind of, I suppose like heavier than regular flour. It's not going to rise as easily. So usually you have to adjust your levels if you're gonna use this instead of regular flour. But the macros on it are pretty good. Per 100 grams, it's 15 grams of fat and 21.7 grams of carbs. There's even 17.4 grams of protein in this per 100. And it's just an alternative to using regular flour for making, I don't know, muffins or for crumbles and different things like that. Decided I was going to try out these bars. They had them at the till in Holland and Barrett and there was buy one get one half price. So I got the chocolate peanut butter PhD smart bar and the caramel crunch to try. I'm going to do a taste test on these later with Lex and I'll let you know what it tastes like. I'm presuming that it's pretty tasty. They're very low in impact carbs. The chocolate peanut butter one is 1.9 grams impact carbs and the caramel crunch is only 0.6 grams of impact carbs, but they are quite high in fat. The chocolate peanut butter is 10 and the caramel crunch is 11. So just take that into account. There is 20 grams of protein per bar. So protein wise, these are looking good. I was talking to Lex about the packaging. Now I found this a bit deceiving because this is the chocolate peanut butter one. and to be honest, doesn't that look like a chocolate orange one? And I don't like chocolate orange, but that, to me, come on advertisers, this is like this marketing 101. Don't make something that's chocolate peanut butter orange. I would have made the chocolate peanut butter one this color, and then the caramel crunch one, I would have made it more of a beigey color. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't have a degree in marketing, but this is me, just saying. Marketing? I also picked up some things from Boots because a lot of you guys have been asking about my makeup and saying that I look radiant. Thank you, by the way. Anyway, I think it's because I've changed up my makeup routine a little and I'm going to do an update of my makeup routine. Just comment below if you'd like to see an update of my makeup routine. But um, I just wanted to pick up some new blending sponges. So I picked up this set from Boots and I have picked up a new foundation brush because mine is losing its hair so I don't really go for any of the MAC expensive stuff. I usually buy my makeup brushes online from eBay or from Amazon but all I needed was the foundation brush so I didn't want to buy a whole new set. So I've just gone for a number seven foundation brush. I'll update you on what it's like and if I like it or not. I went to Primark. So we live in Blackburn. It's in the north of England. Today is Saturday and it was Bedlam in Primark, like Christmas bedlam. 
There was queues all around the store. I even went upstairs to the kids' department thinking, haha, I'll beat the queue, I'll go to the kids' department. No, no, the queue was even longer up there. So I went back downstairs and while I was in the queue, because it was so long, I ended up noticing that they've got a few extra healthy snacks in the queue. Normally they just have your Haribo and you know those like little nutty things that are like really high in fat and they're claiming to be healthy but they're not. They're actually just like fatty treats. So when I was in the queue I noticed that number one they are stocking fulfill bars. Fulfill bars are actually made in Ireland and I thought you could only get them in Ireland but now you can get them in England as well. So I'm well chuffed with this. I like to support Irish companies because obviously I'm Irish but it's very hard to support them while in England. So happily bought myself a fulfill bar. If you haven't tried them, you can get them from Primark now. And this is the peanut caramel one. They ha also had the cookies and cream one but I opted for this. And they pretty much have the same macros as a grenade bar and taste very similar to a grenade bar. I was just really happy to see that the high street are now stocking high protein, healthier options for people to snack on when you're out on a day shopping. Before, I used to feel quite restricted when I was out shopping that, oh no, it's gonna ruin my diet or it's gonna ruin my prep or whatever stage I'm at in my diet, I like to be able to track my food easily. And it's nice to see that there's high protein, low fat, low carb options that you can snack on while you're out and about. A lot of times I used to just bring a protein bar in my handbag, but now I know that even prime Mark is stocking healthy protein bars. I also picked up two bags of crisps because I couldn't decide which flavour to get and they have pretty decent macros. Lex said he thinks that anything of this size shouldn't have more than two grams of fat but these have 3.1 and, and 2.9 grams of fat. I think that's okay. It's like a savoury snack it's still better than going and getting a regular bag of crisps or chips. So they're from the food doctor. They're high fiber, low fat, low protein, high fiber, ugh. high fiber, high protein, low fat. Well, they claim to be low fat. And they are, in my opinion. So for a bag, it's 3.1 grams of fats, 10.9 grams of carbs, and 5.9 grams of protein. I think that's really decent because it's low in carb and for me at the end of the day I always have fats left over but I don't really have carbs left over so that is a great snack for you to snack while you're out and about and shopping and with your friends and your family and whatever you're doing for the weekend and then you have the sweet chili popped crisp thins and I'm pretty sure they have similar macros yeah it's like 2.9 grams of fat 10.2 grams of carbs and 6.1 grams of protein and then two grams of fiber and it's always good to get your fiber in you want to balance out your fiber with your sugar and just keep it all healthy and running smoothly in the tummy region the reason I went into Primark was to pick up the socks for the gym these are my favorite socks for the gym because they have an arch support so there's like a little bit here and it just means your socks don't slip down into your trainer you know when it comes off the edge and slips down and then you have to take off your trainer to pull up your sock and it's just pain in the ass so these are the best socks ever and for a five pack it's two pound fifty sock drop I also picked up my standard bralettes. They're very unsexy, but they are just nice and comfortable. And this is pretty much what I wear as standard. You get two of them for, I think, eight quid for two of them or something ridiculously cheap. And they have them in loads of different colors. And then I got a slightly sexier bralette because I'm all about the bralettes. Cause I got the fake boobs, I don't really need the support, but I like to actually wear underwear and not be Commando Jane all the time. So this one was eight quid for like a little bit fancier and it's kind of like silky material and has a bit of a lace trim. And I also picked up some luxury. It says luxury on it, so it has to be luxury. And it just means they're a little bit softer pillowcases for my face, you know, to sleep on. And that's actually what I went in for, I didn't want to or plan to buy anything else, only the pillowcases and the beauty blenders. But this is what happens when I go shopping. And I always have these as well. So they're just like one quid for a twin pack, super cheap. 
I don't actually use them on my face because I have super sensitive skin. I have a little bit of a rash on my arm right now from running a wet wipe on my arm and that's how sensitive my skin is. But what I use these for is when I am doing my makeup, I always clean my brushes every single time and I just use the little wet wipes to clean off the brush and then by the time I use it next time it's dried off and it's just a way of keeping them semi-sanitized, you know? Maybe people don't have time, maybe I have more time than everyone else, but that's what I do and I just use it. And that's it, that is my high street haul from Primark, Hunt and Barrett and Boots. I just thought I'd share that with you guys and check in just to say hi. And oh yeah, and this arrived today as well. So it's like a little crop top from Gymshark and I got another kind of muscle tee as well in blue with a Gymshark cross front but I'm really liking this. I love this kind of light material and it's just nice and simple just with the Gymshark logo there and I wore this today walking around Blackburn. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. This was my weekend and we are going out for a meal later because that's what married couples do. Love you guys. See you soon.